This is so top heavy now. Ugh. I'm not getting hard decisions. That's a good part. It's only there's less than 200 blinds in the tournament. This guy's got 80 of them. That's fucking nuts. I mean, this dude's got some go for it in him, so we'll see what happens. I'm just waiting to see if this guy jams. This guy's waiting. And I don't know who has more of a time bank. I can't see this guy's. Oh, there we go. Five six. Wow, hold. Look at that. No chance. Final table. What a fucking idiot. Why would you do that? I am eighth. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get a deal here. Look at this. I got the big stack directly on my right. I'm going to get jammed on all day. The literal short stack. Sometimes people don't because they're afraid that you'll just call it off with anything, but I really think without just completely being cold, I think my expectation is sixth place here minimum. And it's tough because I have so few blinds. Ooh, I got the walk. Too small to fail. Big jumps now. 275 to 340 to 425 to 550 to 750, 11, 10, 15, 15, and 2230. I might click it. It puts it up and then it puts it down. That's funny. double I'm at like sixth place maybe fifth depending on who I get but I just got zero equity so basically I'm looking to outlast this player and probably this player this guy's way too too snug he's gonna have to take a bad beat to go out this guy should be raising more I mean he's got eight million he should be going like honestly he could go three here but 2.5 for sure. I, I would never slow down. Because you're just incentivizing this guy to play against you. And you're giving him a chance to 3-bet you, which looks really strong. And he's the only guy who has that kind of chips to do it. Player shouldn't even be looking to get involved.
and that's kind of a great wow. I mean, this player shouldn't have folds. He shouldn't be attacking this player. He should have just strong hands. I don't know if you can fold pocket jacks here. Like, that's why I'm saying I'm going to outlast this guy, because that's fucking insane. Like, he's raising the short stack and then folding to a jam. Look at this. I mean, that's a great jam. Come on. I mean, here's the thing. I'm trying to outlast these two players because I really think they're going to go down before I do. Which is, you know, a big difference. It's a $150 difference. But, that being said, if I get a spot that's a jam, I'm taking it. Just because I really think it's winnable. I really haven't seen anything here. If I can get half. Like, look at this shit. I mean, it's just like, how do you raise it all? Wow. I mean, it's the only way. Don't chop it. Don't chop it. Nice. Well, now my expectation is fifth place. That's crazy. I mean, it's an ICM move, but it's fucking insane that he did it. This, this is a shitty scenario because I have to fold it. Like, seven-handed with zero fold equity. Like, I'm just begging to run into something. And I'm not going to get folded to, so my best-case scenario is a 60-40. This guy's dumb enough to jam against the chip leader. Huh, he has to make a deal? Sure, I'll make a deal. <laughs> He's got the deal up, I'll make a deal. <laughs> I'm the surety, why not? You know you want to. Wow. Call it, big boy. Oh, God, I wish he'd called. <sighs> well, down to six. I said that was my minimum. It's going to be tough now because this player got doubled. But I still think there's a lot of volatility here. I still think I can technically ladder. If everybody folds to me, I'm going to jam because this player is super tight. He may call wide, but still, I have 60-40 usually here. If this player raises, it's fucked. Can't do it. Take the deal off. Maybe that'll freak him out. Fold, big stack. Fold, fold. Look at this shit. I mean, this is kind of nuts. Because this is going to be a lot of aces. This is going to be a lot of aces. Look at this. They chop it. Do your 5-6 thing again. All in. Call 6. He shouldn't fold here. I mean, what 6s does this guy have other than like a 6 suited? He should not be folding here. Even though it's a half pot bet. Look at this. This is a great move. That's a great move with the fucking... Uh, God damn it, he had it and it got fucking counterfeited. Alright, I need a couple folds here. I need you to get out of there. If he's in there, I can't do anything. If he raises, I'm going to go. 
the big stack, I mean, because he's obviously raising everything. Fold. All right. We're going. I have some fold equity, not much. Oh, wow. Come on. It's a classic. Hold! Boom! I can't believe it took him that long to call. 1.3! Come on! Fold. Fold. All right, we're probably going here. If the big stack raises, I think I have to. One point three, all you can eat. The man's thinking about it. He re-raised jams. I'm probably uh, dominated after he takes so long. Might be a pair, but should be just a lot of ace kings, ace queens. Maybe it's ace ten. Whatever it is, I just hope I win. How about that? My yeah, ace queen. Jack. Ten. I got more outs than I had pre flop. Ten. Ace. Fuck. Well, not a whole hell of a lot I can do about that. I mean, I know it was 11 blinds. I don't have to jam, but in all honesty, I don't think anybody's faulting me for it six-handed uh, from the cutoff. So I think it's fine. I could have just raised, but he's just going to re-raise jam, and I'm going to have to call. So uh, it's a cooler, whatever. But 425 bucks, not bad. Uh, spun my way in for 10 bucks, so I'd call it pretty profitable. Uh, so that puts me up like 400 and, no, $395 on the day, something like that. A nah, little over 380 so yeah, I'm going to send you guys out to a host. Uh, I'm going to come back in a little while and play some cash. There's another tournament that I may play later. It's in two hours. Depends how I feel. Uh, that's on WSOP. Uh, if not, I'm going to uh, just play cash tonight. And uh, yeah, so pretty good run. I'm pretty happy with it. I think I made some really good decisions. And in the end, a cooler is a cooler. But one tenth place and one sixth place out of four tournaments, pretty fucking good. So uh, I'll see you guys later.